Strap in, millennials and zoomers, because we're going back to the 1990s. And Generation X gone, give it to ya. Ah, oh, shit, that was a 2000s reference, wasn't it? Well, starting right now, we're all about the naughty 90s. No, damn it, the 1990s. Okay, starting now, only 90s references tonight. Because we're gonna be chillin' with our nugs, wheezin' the juice, and grabbing some gnarly grindage. That's 90s talk for having a good time with your pals. It's mostly gibberish, I believe. In the 90s, it was more important to talk like a cool dude than to be clearly understood. You say, no problemo. And if someone comes off to you with an attitude, you say, eat me. And if you want to shine them on, it's... Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. Anyway, we're gonna be watching Son-in-Law, starring perhaps the most 90s 90s guy ever, Pauly Shore. Fresh off the success of 1992's Encino Man starring Brendan Fraser and Sean Astin, Pauly Shore broke onto the scene as America's most lovable, PG-rated stoner since Shaggy. Always strongly implied, but never actually seen to be smoking the herbage, keeping things nice and mainstream friendly. Even before Encino Man, he had already made a name for himself as a darling of MTV with his own daytime TV show, Totally Polly. Here he is interviewing a young Bruno Mars. How you guys doing today? Nice to see you. My next guest on my show is Bruno. <laughs> Yay. Bruno, um, it says right here, you're the world's youngest Elvis impersonator. Can you show some moves? What about the lip? Do the lip thing. Son-in-law marks the first time Pauly Shore took the lead role in a film, starring as Crawl, the secretly brilliant slacker with the heart of gold, and firmly established himself as a marketable star for teenage comedies. If you weren't a teenager yet in the 90s, then you might remember Pauly Shore as that cheese whiz guy from the Goofy movie. Uh -huh. Max, look, it's the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. Huh. <laughs> that was his greatest voice acting role. Of course, you younger Gen Z types will probably only know Pauly from his worst voice acting role, 2022's Pinocchio, A True Story which has become something of an internet joke. But there's no reason to dwell on that. Oh, okay, a few quick clips. What about my dream? You have a dream? Yes, Tybalt, I have a special most treasured dream. It's just me. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. Thank you, Daddy. Yeesh. Now that we have become unclean by watching Pinocchio A True Story, let us purify ourselves in the waters of Polly Shore's son-in-law. Ah, oh, hell, that was an 80s reference, wasn't it? Shit, this is hard. Okay, let's pop it sideways on that squeeze biz, buddy. That's 90s talk for let's start this fucking thing. 